I have mixed feelings of the American dream. I'll, I'll tell you what I mean, what I what I love about the American dream, uh, uh, that this is a country of uh, I think it's defined mostly as a country of immigrants of people who've come with all different points of view and all different perspectives, and that they had to get along, that they had to uh, there had to be an acceptance at least in many cases an appreciation for all of those different points of view, and to create. Um, um, it was a land of opportunity. It should be an opportunity. And that is fantastic, a meritocracy to be all you can be. And that is the American dream. And I, and I love that element. And at the same time, I don't want to stamp it as American. It is what is uniquely American, I think. But it, but it can be, in various ways, anywhere. And wherever it is, it's good. We're getting, now we're in a global world. And it's very important in that global world that we emphasize, uh, most importantly, good ways of being. Not overdo the Americanism part relative to the what is the good way of being. And then understand also other good ways of being. Those dimensions, to me, are absolutely I love. And then we also can bring in elements of, let's not be so emphasizing the American part of it, that we also say it's got to be have an American stamp on it to be good, that we can't then also say, what are all the different other ways of being in the world that we also can learn from? And what is in common with the Chinese dream and the American dream do you know what? Uh, I mean, so then they become the some of the universal rules. So Confucian, the Confucian notions of uh, certain um, saving. Um, it looks like um, a Horatio Alger. Type, in many ways, the Confucian values are similar to the Protestant work ethic. Okay. So how do, what are you trying to achieve? So what is, when we say the Chinese dream, if you go beneath the surface, just like I've said, there are elements of the American dream. It's the meritocracy. It's all of that. When you deal in China, in many cases, there's common, what they want is in many cases what we want. They want their families to be well-educated. They want to progress. They want similar things. And then they, um, and then there may be differences too. And how do they go about that? Basically, for the most part, most people want similar things, not identical. I mean, you you could break the world, I think, into I would say different sort of categories uh, to make a big big difference. Rather than put na names, China. We are more similar to China in many ways than we China and us in that there's a desire to in the Americas in the United States or in China, there's a desire to accomplish well or, or, or to change the world or to evolve and to raise your living standards and all that. In a large part of the world, there's a desire also to um, um, operate in harmony with life, to savor life, 